a casuist of the great martyr St. George, the knight in the tiger skin, troparian. Defeating the spirit of falsehood and cunning with a sword of reproof, destroying with spear the enemies of Lord's vineyard, thou clad in tiger skin like starry sky and Joseph's striped robe, endowed with wisdom of parable, wearing the striped garment with the burden of secret of St. Nina's cross and that of the scarlet rose, the great martyr of Christian faith, knight in the tiger skin, fill us Georgians with the power of God for gaining victory over cunning and guile. Kentuckian, born in Cappadocia, in the land inhabited by the nation of the Cartvelians, rejecting the earthly glory and puffed up pride of the commander, temptation of being worshipped, great martyr, Saint George, you did become the protector of true faith, shedding thy blood and exorcising demons, washing from sins, enlightening ungodly and pagans, and thy talent of true faith spreading all over the earth, making us glorify God the Creator, giving birth to us. We do worship thou, St. George, who didst lay down thy life for Christ, defeating and reproving those reigning unlawfully in the vineyard of the Lord, with the natives, the dwellers of this vineyard, by thy intercession obediently pray to save us from temptations and our sins, crying unto thee with the God's face. Rejoice, great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin who does destroy the cunning. As the fragrance of scarlet rose emerging between barren swords and the candle lightening spiritual darkness of nation, being Christ's sturdy soldier, teaching the Antichrist Emperor commandments of crucified Christ not only in words but by shedding thy blood, overwhelmed with the word of the Lord and with his Spirit Almighty, you did become the chosen vessel among the called by Lord, for whom we cry unto thee. Rejoice, St. George, bright and radiant as the tongues of flames, and similar to the stone of jasper found on the border of Cartley and the land of Caspi. Rejoice, then, like Neptune and Zabulon, the dweller of every part of the world, throughout the land and the sea. Rejoice, the bunch of Christ's grapes, giving abundant fruit to Christians. Rejoice, the glory and chosen realm of Christ. Rejoice, like Apostle Philip, called by Christ himself rejoiced for the first Georgian king Miriam, making the helmet and armors for his knight, did portray thy image on them. Rejoice the great passion bearer, for under St. Nino's law instructions was enlightened the nation of Georgia. Rejoice, devoted preacher of the Lord's teaching of love by thy deeds. Rejoice the protector of Targamosians, who never serve anyone except the Lord. Rejoice St. George of Iberia, Alaverdi, Ilori, Atzuri, Alchevsky, Atozzi, Bodbe, Bethlehem, Gudani, Gorijvari, Geri, Egypt, Zografi, Tualtavisi, Jerusalem, Kebedosia, Lomisi, Mravaldzali, Odishi, Sujuni, Sadgeri, Uspenski, Kurumhis, Kashuetis, Chachmati, Talenjiha, and Lashari, uh, Lashari Jvari. Rejoice thou, the magnificent chariot of the sun, rejoice the dweller of heaven. Heavens. Rejoice, great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin, who does destroy the cunning. As predicted by the Holy Spirit, the evil on the icons portrayed as a dragon is a symbol of the enemy of Christ attacking him openly. With the spirit of God's prediction, the Antichrist was his worshipper, intending to draw the Christian into his net. The tempter, pretending to be Sewer, Son of God, and the careless people will easily get into his net, while we, for exposure of cunning, do chant unto God, Alleluia.
By the second coming, the evil, disguising its face, does fight not openly but works in secret. Those rejecting the face do not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness, admiring falsehood, while thou, thou, St. George, did become the cornerstone of church and dweller of the Lord's kingdom. With thy intercession and love towards thee, the Cartvelians, Georgians, do gain a miraculous victory, St. George, over the enemies of Christ, taking vengeance on Antichrist. The power of thy icons, decorated with multiple precious stones, does terrorize those setting traps to Christians, for which we chant unto thee. Rejoice, St. George, glorified by Ivarians every 365 days a year, just like thy icon is adorned with 365 stones of chained sapphires. Rejoice the judge uh, of the truth, crowned with a diadem of torture, as Eliab from Dan's tribe, conducting Moses' taber tabernacle of uh, faith. Rejoice, St. George, for the blessed land of Ivarians is called after thee. Rejoice, St. George, for as the yoke does decorate the earth by ploughing it, so you enlighten the pagans by teaching and preaching true faith. Rejoice, the passion bearers, thou didst destroy the Antichrist emperor, as the Apostle Matthew did set down to fire the idols of cunning full beyond. Rejoice, for the Saint King Vachdan Gorgasali of the branch of David's seed did exterminate the enemies of Christ as the lion wild donkeys. Rejoice, the shield of Pantocrator, King of Kings of Jesus, David Solomon's seed. Rejoice, thou didst resurrect the dead priest from his coffin. Rejoice, thou with the shedding of thy scarlet blood, blessed by God, being aware of the mysteries of the word of God. Rejoice, thou girded by golden the chaser, chaser of wicked liars and hypocrites. Rejoice being girded by truth and armed with the true faith. Rejoice the beatitude of the heavenly assembly of the passion bearers for Christ. Rejoice great martyr of Christ, St. George the Ninth in the Tigers King, who does destroy the cunning. The washed gold that does become the decoration of God's kingdom and purified by the Lord's passion by his resurrection, enlightening the land of Arabia and making them subject to the kingdom of God, about which it is said, the kings of Arabia presented unto him gifts, and as the Aceris was the omen of the change of law, so over the temple of Cartvelians was founded thy church, St. George. Likewise the Apostle Andrew, the first called, our Lord Almighty, sending thy bride of God, Nino to enlighten the Georgians and as a token of miracle of God's mystery thou did become the protector of the Georgian uh, nation the sturdy soldier of heavenly light and righteousness for which we the Georgians are devoted to Christ and with thy strength and obedience do chant unto God Alleluia. With the churches erected in thy name the Cartvelians do defeat the enemies of Christ and George. In token of the Holy Trinity three angels appearing to Abraham under the oak of Mamre the Cartvelians did worship the oak tree Jirag and the kind large of Ilori Georgi did become the foundation for thy church as the Lord's miracle for which we chant unto thy might. Rejoice, St. George, for like Chalcedony, curing those poison, poisoned by snakes and vipers. Thy power do break down and suppress all those opposing Christ. Rejoice as the name of Aceris is the magnificent precious stone, Chalcedony is the adornment of priest dress, so that this becomes the treasure of the Lord. Rejoice likewise the protector of all nations on the earth, carrying all fourteen crosses of Christ. Rejoice St. George being twin of Tetri Georgi. Rejoice Rejoice likewise the builder of the church, Thomas destroying the infanticide pagan priest, being the defeater of the Hippocrite emperor. Rejoice for the blessed Saint Father Grigori from Hansda with his brotherhood by thy, their zealous prayer for the seizure of Anchi Eperchy by deception and force did destroy the cunning imposter priest Skiri. 
rejoice for under Saint Nina's commandment thy icon is adorning the banner of Iberian kings. Rejoice, vanity and drug, for by thy name was changed the holy day of Mirsoba. Rejoice, for the call his oak, great Troni, is worshipped in Iberia. Rejoice, the rose of faith, the curer of spiritual and bodily feebleness. Rejoice, the passion angel, the champion of the heavenly host. Rejoice, the devoted soldier, the defender of the holy trinity. Rejoice, graced martyr of Christ and joy the knight in the tiger skin who does destroy the cunning. The non-believer nation, conquered and striken by a dragon, grown green from the sin and the fear of a dragon, having no courage and hope of God, and the uh, unbeliever and great and their unbeliever and great sinner king, who instead of laying down his life for his nation, did sacrifice their only children. But thy courage and the devotion unveiling the cowardice of the king raising no voice against the evil because of the fear of his own sins and the sins of his nation while you being inspired with the power of god does terrorize the earthly might of dragon and giving hope to the nation of god do glorify the Creator of all. Alleluia. The worshippers of thy unconquerable courage do glorify God the Almighty by thy miracles, the unvanquished passion bearer Saint George, and by thy unconquered spirit suppressing uh, thy temptation and taking strength in God, thou didst turn into bright color of the precious stone of emerald. The priests serving truth and following you, fighting against the evil and giving example of the, thy courageous spirit to the Carthalian nation will enter the holy church of Christ presenting to the Lord by communion them with the blood and flesh of Christ who does cry unto thee rejoice the precious stone of emerald the serene water of the spring emitting the radiance of God Rejoice, for as the name of Emerald is given to Levi from priest's generation, so the Carthalians had adopted thy name of Georgians. Rejoice, the moon traveling over the dome of the sky, enlightening those living in darkness. Rejoice, for as the grinding iron of the handmill does grind the um, wheat, so by thy prayers, O destroy the liars and ungodly. Rejoice, being likewise the prophet and the true Israel. Nathanael, in whom there is no guile. Rejoice the sharpened and raised sword of the monk Tornik Ioannes, the dweller of holy Mount Essos, and the army of Georgian monkhood, the courageous warriors fighting in the uh, valley of battle. Rejoice thou strengthening by power of God, the dwellers of the earth. Rejoice thou strengthening by thy grace, the Christ lover Iverian nation. Rejoice the flamed up candle of true God and the radiant chariot of the moon. Rejoice the destroyer of the killers of soul and abusers of Christ, throwing them into the netherland. Rejoice the soldier of Christ, having spiritual and mental courage, fighting for true faith and gaining victory in the battle. Rejoice thou do terrorize the ungodly for glorifying the name of Christ. Rejoice the great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin who does destroy the cunning. The enemies of the Lord's vineyard, trying to take Christian aside, tempting and corrupting people with lies and guiles, still silly robbing the grapes of Lord's vineyard. The blood of Jesus Christ should be overthrown by Lord to the underworld. The Antichrist worshippers, the priests, deceiving their flock, telling them that disciples of Christ had stolen the resurrected, calling him to be man only, but not God Almighty. Their words and the deeds being not one and the same shall be portioned for foxes, but the righteous people, having hatred for falsehood, will become the guard of Lord's vineyard in the battle for the truth destroying the foxes, not chanting unto God, Alleluia, tempted, blinded, non-believer nation, caught in Antichrist net, and serving to him will gain the eternal fire for standing apart from the heavenly light, worshiping the darkness and obeying the cunning, instead of life-giving God. 
but thou having fear of God the Almighty more than of Antichrist Emperor having the power of lion but face of the fox waiting for catching the poor gaining the victory over him does strengthen the branch of the Lord's vineyard for what we do chant unto thee rejoice and George the beauty of Christian Church a sardonic in King's crown rejoice and George for likewise Benjamin the eldest brother of Joseph the only back and the shield of his brother being the protector of the Cartvelians. Rejoice the sacrificed lamb like Elijah the prophet. Rejoice the lover of the power of lion Christ, but not of the lion as the beast of the prey. Rejoice for as Jacob did become the liar to the Hurias, so thou becoming the torment uh, to ungodly emperor. Rejoice, St. George, for thou were the champion leader of the heavenly army in did gory battle, fighting side by side with the Cartvelian king, did gory battle for, uh, for only the Cartvelian kings were being honored to enter Jerusalem, the Lord's city on the horseback, with unfolded banners in the hands of their warriors. Rejoice, great martyr St. George, for the relics of the body kept in the king's cross did accompany Cartvelian kings in the battle against their enemies. Rejoice the worshipper of David's seed, the shining star of the dawn. Rejoice the shield of the virtue and the double blade sword splitting the evil. Rejoice the exposer and destroyer of the fox-like spirit, the powers of darkness. Rejoice by shedding thy scarlet blood, glorifying Christ. Rejoice the unveiler of the ravening wolves, coming in sheep's clothing. Rejoice the great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin, who does destroy the cunning. The crucified Christ, while being on the cross, his mother and uh, John, his disciple, both standing at the foot of the cross, choosing John for his devotion to Christ, dishonor him to be adopted by his mother, saying unto them, Woman, behold thy son, and then he, to his disciples, the son of the thunder, behold thy mother, like just like the Georgian nation fallen to the mother of God by Lord who will stand in Christian face by the second coming and never will reject the face. Following the prophetic writing, glorification of Georgian language, kept in the manuscripts of Ioannes Zosime in the monasteries of Mount Sinai, and the fall by lot of the nation of Georgia to the mother of God, as raised Lazarus, the proof of Lord's glory and the dead of four days, so Georgian nation, at the days of the second coming, according to God's commandment, is endowed with mission of judging of sins of the mankind, gifted by Lord with a sharp sword, the sword of the Messiah, thou does stab and destroy the falsehood of Antichrist worshippers, while the army of angels strengthening the Iberian people chosen by God and destiny of mother of God with the power of the Lord with thy intercession that chant sweetly alleluia with mutual spirit of love for the motherland language and faith in the days of doomsday this nation has mission of judging the mankind Archangels Michael and Gabriel in Devati at the 6th century stellas in Georgia reverently holding the board of the Georgian alphabet of the language of Lazarus that celebrates the day of the second coming. And the words and the rows of the mother of God are strict as her telling. Those giving no shelter to this nation are the enemies of mine. For the hatred toward this nation is destroyed by thy swords, St. George. And this nation is proud of thy birth among them and does cry unto thee. Rejoice the cure from ulcers and ailments, inaccessible for thy heavenly fire. Rejoice like radiance of sardonic, the stone of the serene water having the curative power. Rejoice as Reuben saving Joseph, his brother from death, did liberate the rest of his brother from committing the crime. Protecting the leaders of nation for raising the, the, the Iberian nation. Rejoice but by thy martyrdom. Restore 
adoring the Christian face, likewise the firstborn ox shedding his blood on the earth. Rejoice the protector of chastity and holiness of virgin. Rejoice glory of Georgian church like John, the beloved disciple of Jesus, who did lean on his breast. Rejoice on thy icons are decorated with the sun and the moon as the images of the Lord and the mother of God. Rejoice the exposer of liar, candleman, and the prayer of the wife for her husband. Rejoice thou girded by God with the talent of love of thy neighbor. Rejoice the patron of the protectors of motherland, mother tongue and the face. Rejoice the horseman holding Archangel Michael's sword raised in thy hand. Rejoice enduring the torture for love and devotion to Christ. Rejoice the great martyr of St. George, the knight in the tiger skin who does destroy the cunning. The key of David is granted to Philadelphia and Iberian Church for its chastity, not rejecting God's name beloved by Christ. That is the reason why God the Almighty does not blot out their name out of the book of the life, preserving this nation for overcoming the days of temptation, making this people the pillar in Lord's Church upon which is written the name of the city of New Jerusalem. But thou St. George, protecting the variants from assembly of Satan, does destroy the cunning. People calling themselves the Huria, that is a lie and is not the truth. For what we chant unto God, Alleluia. Merciful God, does name the Iberian nation to be firstborn, and like Lord swearing to David his servant, making him higher than the kings of the earth, not he will utterly take his loving kindness from his nation, even if they forsake of his law, making their seed to endure forever, and their throne as the sun before him. Blessed be the Lord God, St. George, making thou with the sword of reproof, and this nation called by God, girded with strength unto battle, who will cry unto thou, Rejo unto thee, rejoice the healer of ulcers and ailments, radiant and accessible with heavenly fire, rejoice the precious golden stone dwelt in the church of Iveria like Zabulon from Nazareth, rejoice the redeemer of captives, the horseman and the soldier of John's revelation, rejoice intercessor of poor and the scale of justice. Rejoice unvanquished and the most sturdy soldier of Christ, by whose intercessions the life-giving cross of Christ was once again taken into the city of Jerusalem by Georgian King Tamar the Saint. Rejoice the healer of the sick, likewise Apostle Peter, the headstone of the corner of our holy church. Rejoice the courageous soldiers, the great martyr for Christ, dweller of heavenly kingdom. Rejoice St. George, seven times glorified by thy martyrdom. Rejoice the hope of the widow, sacrificing the pillar to the church. Rejoice the glory of God and the preserver of God's word. Rejoice the beauty of Philadelphia, Iberian church. Rejoice the rock of Christian church, rejoice the great martyr of Christ St. George, the knight in the tiger skin who does destroy the cunning. Filled with divine cognition of Christian faith, dressed in golden garments, suppressing in thy soul the evil of lion and tiger, defeating the spirit of Satan and darkness, thou thee filled with the heavenly wisdom. Wearing the tiger skin, similar to the starry sky, thou sunny hero, enlightening the Georgians who cry unto God, Alleluia. Having been worshipped by the Persian kings from the east, thy heavenly spirit, like Adam's and Joseph's striped garment, resembling the starry sky, the Iverian nation, with the heavenly wisdom, does lock in the combat with the demons, the enemies of Christ, and this nation chose by God, does pray praise and cry unto thee. Raise the rejoice the champion warrior of the monarchs, the precious stone of burial, the image of chastity venerated by God. Rejoice the martyr St. George dressed in the tiger skin, in the garment of the forefather Joseph. Rejoice the discoverer of curative spring. Rejoice the destroyer of the evildoers by stabbing 
them with spear, a scorpion killing with its poison. Rejoice the chosen vessel, behead, behead it like Apostle Paul by evildoers. Rejoice for the hundred thousand steady Iverians captured by hazards were beheaded for not stepping the holy icons. Rejoice the sunny hero, the defeater of tigers and lions. Rejoice the defeater of cunning fox amid the abyss of the sea waves. Rejoice the knight on the horseback, having gone down to the Hades like Christ. Rejoice the soldier, full of prophetic and heavenly teaching. Rejoice the star traveling in the heavens, lightening the universe. Rejoice the beauty and crown of martyrs. Rejoice the great martyr of Christ St. George, the knight in the tiger skin, who does destroy the cunning. And the queen of the city of Thebes, crowning herself with the precious stone of Topaz, refused by builders and sold by the merchants of alabaster. So Judas Iscariot did reject Jesus Christ the precious stone, treasure, selling him to the scribes and Pharisees. In accordance with divine and heavenly wisdom, the striped parable not sincere speech, the secret of wise teaching, the door of David's house is locked and the restoration of this house not by law but by the covenant of God given to this heavenly nation the morning star and the seed of Christ given like sheep that is screwing up the, its courage and restoring its energy chanting sweetly does cry unto God Alleluia like sand of the sea nobody can count thy intercession saint george for iberian nation and the georgian church on the scarlet banners of kings of iberia is zeal the covenant of lord given to this chosen nation i will make them firstborn higher than the kings of the earth and will not utterly take my loving kindness from them and their seed will endure forever that does make georgians to chant unto thee. Rejoice, St. George, for thy dicks make thou radiant and encircled by seven heavenly and uh, luminescent bodies, bright as precious stones of topaz and the headstone of the corner. Rejoice, St. George, likewise Simeon dwelt among wise and enlightened nation of Georgia, keeping the God of the word. Rejoice, for by thy grace radiant Iverian nation is wrapped in the fiery robe of Christ. Rejoice, the martyr warriors, the arch the defeater of Saracens, rejoice the protector of Iverian's face, having taught and preached by Andrew the first cause. Rejoice for Georgian nation, does praise the one that make a blessed Saint uh, Father Ilarion the uh, Cartveli. Rejoice the protector of the Iverian church, the owner of the keys of David. Rejoice thou with the power of life giving cross, unmasking the hypocrite humbleness, opposing the chastity. Rejoice thou dressed up in the striped robe, likewise the forefather Joseph enlightened with mysterious knowledge of heavens. Rejoice, the soldier of glory, bearer of the burden of St. Nina's cross and the mystery of Scarlet Rose. Rejoice, the undefeated commander of the army. Rejoice, an ornament of the Iverian church. Rejoice, the great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin. Who does destroy the cunning? As the prophet Jeremiah does say, the nation not keeping the word of the Lord and the father's superiors committing adultery with the mothers of their neighbors, predicting the word of the lie, deceiving the people that somewhere would be born in their seed, will get the cruel punishment. But thou, St. George, serve as the shield to the nation who carries the burden of the word, the Lord, and whose fathers are humbly defending the honor and chastity of their maids and mothers while standing his covenant fast with them and giving these people for naught, like sheep appointed for meat, and as the token of God's prediction, Elio's sister Sidonia, while dying, having seized the robe of Christ, sued in the heaven, being buried with Lord's robe, becoming the cornerstone basement for the church of the life-giving pillar in Tzcheta. For what with raising hands up, we cry unto God, Alleluia. Saint Father, 
Simeon stylites, in his sleep so great multitude of people as males so women, and children coming from the east, holding crosses in their hands, being guarded by the Holy Spirit, who did appear to be Georgians. On the following day, uh, uh, this father, Simeon, was the witness of the coming of people to him with crosses in their hands, being blessed by Christ, and disciples of his on the doomsday, teaching and preaching the gospel will expose this honesty for what we gladly chant unto thee. Rejoice the ornament of the Iverian church, who as a stone of burial, adorning the crown uh, of the and the priest's robe with jasper, keeping the miracles of God. Rejoice, and joy. Likewise, God becoming the believer of God. Rejoice the sturdy soldier of Christ, uh, dwelling side by side with archangels in heavenly kingdom. Rejoice the blessed voice, overcoming the hills, reaching the pinks like Shamoas. Rejoice like Apostle Jacob, the fortress of faith for the Georgian church. Rejoice for the fiery cross of Svetitschoveli church, of life-giving pillar, crowned with star, beheading the cunning. Rejoice for Elijah's cloak is buried under the altar in Svetitschoveli up to the appointed day. Rejoice thou didst remain safe in the burning stove like Elijah, with three adolescents in the flames of fiery chariot. Rejoice for the vengeance belongs to the Lord. Rejoice the soldier of glory dressed in the tiger skin as a token of heavenly wisdom. Rejoice the heavenly body illuminating the earth, encircled by the unchaste and the ungodly, but raised by God's mercy. Rejoice the praiser of honor and the flower of a big Rejoice, great martyr St. George, uh, the knight in the tiger skin who did destroy the cunning, stamped with the zeal of the fox, uh, the limb of the devil, King Herod, was scared of the birth of Christ, the lawful governments, the precious stones brought up and traded by law are the cornerstones of the edifice. But the imposter, corrupting and cunning men, are paving the way to the coming of Antichrist, the man of a lie, of fox-like spirit, depraver of Lord's vineyard, while the power of the sharp sword, unveiling the evil, does stab the jaws of the fox, defeating the cunning beast. For what we do cry unto God, Alleluia. The enemy, cunning, claiming for peace in the word, but crafty as a fox in his deed, will never rejoice and rule over us, since God of our salvation, choosing the nation of Georgia for his incarnation, humbling himself and being clad in the sackcloth, did become the parable to them. But the Lord shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming, and thou, St. George, dost destroy all ungodly and cunning, and shall, shall them perish and consume away into smoke, who are against thou, while we are chanting unto thee. Rejoice the precious stone of Rabbi, emitting the radiance of live coals, shining in daytime and at night, that at the lit up candle can't be hid. Rejoice the whelp of the Lion Christ, incarnated from the tribe of Judas. Rejoice St. George, for thy angelic face is similar to the lit-up face of Moses. Rejoice the Aquarius of Christian face. Rejoice St. George, worshipped and glorified as the Apostle Thaddeus of the Christian face. Rejoice for the Catholicus of Georgia, Ambrose the Confessor, addressing the ungodly. My soul belongs to the Lord my heart to the motherland, and my corpse I leave to you, and let you make do anything by thine wish. Rejoice the convictor and destroyer of the fox-like antichrist emperor, pretending to be sane. Rejoice, St. George, for cooling the divine service as a lily and rose grown amongst their thrones. Rejoice, precious gold, 
precious gold, the owner of Iberian nation, its shield and inlaid down sword. Rejoice the night of Cappadocian origin, lit up by heavenly bodies. Rejoice for the icon of Theokotos of Gates, the bosom of Iberia, was handed by the Theokotos herself to the Iberian monk Gabriel. And this country, Iberia, Iberia, is the elder sister and the rescuer of the land of Russia, and the sore of the words foreseen and predicted by Seraphim of Sarov, and that in the latest day will be radiant Iberia, and at the communion table in the altar the wine will be poured from Iberia are coming true. Rejoice, for we are born in God. In Christ we die and raise up with the Holy Spirit. Rejoice the great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin. Who does destroy the cunning? It's beyond us to dedicate a song of praise to you, night in the tiger skin, forgetting God's grace in change of thy martyrdom. For the second death, the eternal fire has no power over thou, since God's grace prepares the way for the nation of New Jerusalem, for becoming this nation radiant and dwelling and entering heavenly Jerusalem by prophecy of God, as far as this city and its borders are measured by God golden rod, the heavenly nation being humbled and rejected, as the prophet would say, Do awake thou who are sleeping now, raise up from death, and Christ will enlighten thou, while St. George divine would preach. Blessed are those people who share the burden of Christ and his resurrection, while we are chanting unto God, Alleluia. On the Mount of Essos, the land blessed by God, the destiny of the Mother of God in 1999, among 6,000 monks living in cloisters, only the monk, Georgian monk Gabriel uh, from Iveria, uh, did get the command of the Theotokos of taking her icon, suffering, uh, surfing on the waves of water out of the sea. In the times of Antichrist reign in Jerusalem, the city of harlots, where justice will die, overcrowded with killers, the Iberian icon of Theotokos will leave the Mount of Essos before the second coming. For this icon of ghosts will leave for Iberia, the destiny of God's mother, for protection of these people, while the virgin land of the blessed Mount Essos will go down the depths of the sea, and the icon of gaze Gates will rejoice swimming to the banks of New Essos for radiance of New Jerusalem. And thou, St. George, the soldier of Christ, the knight of, knight of glory, will get God's crown and shine in heavenly kingdom. For what Georgian nation with a prayer cry unto thee? Rejoice the flamed up warrior, filled up with wisdom of Christian faith, of the color of precious stone amethyst. Rejoice being similar to uh, uh, kind Issachar, rejoice for Iberian nation, which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, like the thirsty deer after cold mountainous spring. Rejoice for filling thy nets with believers, like fishermen with the fish. Rejoice, likewise, Apostle Simeon the Cananet, being the zealous pupil of heavenly parable stripe wisdom. Rejoice for monks on Mount Essos, killed by papists, and for their martyrdom, leap up by God's grace, used to chant uh, Georgian Iavnana Lalibai, rejoice the most zealous soldier among the saints, the protector of Iberian nation. Rejoice for the crown of Antichrist should never dwell in Iberia. Rejoice an unvanquished soldier of Christ, for no one does rejoice uh, over the Georgians. Rejoice for icon of mother of God. Theotokos of Gate did hand her icon herself to the Iberian monk Gabriel for this nation being elder sister and rescuer of the land of Russia. Rejoice for 
and the robe of mother of God and uh, known uh, mother of God known as the gate shall reach the land of the icon of uh, mother of God known as the gate shall reach the land of her destiny given to her by Lord and the robe of mother of God he is kept in Odishi. Rejoice a great martyr of Christ, St. George, the knight in the tiger skin, who does destroy the cunning. O oh, great martyr, St. George, the destroyer of the liars and hypocrites, exposer of imposters, thou martyr for Christ, great trophy bearer, the knight of truth and the heavenly light, the knight in the tiger skin, receive from us the prayer of entreaty, forgetting relief from God our Lord. And by thy intercession, let have mercy on us for our sins and temptation, tempted by the servants of the enemies of Christ, the nation being the destiny of the Mother of God, having less fear of evil than of God, for what we chant unto God for our salvation. Alleluia. O great martyr St. George, the destroyer of the liars and hypocrites, exposer of imposters, thou martyr for Christ, great trophy the night of truth and the heavenly light, the night in the tiger skin, receive from us the prayer of entreaty, forgetting relief from God our Lord, and by thy intercession, let have mercy on us for our sins and temptation, tempted by the servants of the enemies of Christ, the nation being the destiny of the mother of God, having less fear of evil than of God, for what we chant unto God of our salvation. Alleluia. O great martyr St. George, the destroyer of the liars and hypocrites, exposer of imposters, thou martyr for Christ, great trophy bearer, the knight of truth and the heavenly light, the knight in the tiger skin, receive from us the prayer of entreaty, forgetting relief from God our Lord, and by thy intercession let have mercy on us for our sins and temptation, tempted by the servants of the enemies of Christ, the nation being the destiny of the mother of God, having less fear of evil than of God, for what we chant unto God of our salvation. Alleluia. As the fragrance of scarlet rose emerging between barren thorns and the candle lightening spiritual darkness of nation, being Christ's sturdy soldier, teaching the Antichrist Emperor commandments of crucified Christ, not only in words but by shedding thy blood, overwhelmed with the word of the Lord, when with his uh, spirit almighty you did become the chosen vessel among the called by Lord for whom we cry unto thee. Rejoice, St. George, bright and radiant as the tongues of flames and similar to the stone of jasper found on the border of Cartley and the land of Caspi. Rejoice in, like Nephtal and Zebulon, the dweller of every part of the world throughout the land and the sea. Rejoice thou bunch of Christ's grapes giving abundant fruit to Christians. Rejoice the glory and chosen realm of Christ. Rejoice like Apostle Philip called by, uh, him, uh, by Christ himself. Rejoice for the uh, First Georgian King Miriam, making the helmet and armors for his knight, did portray the image on them. Rejoice the great passion bearer, for under St. Nino's law instructions was enlightened the nation of Georgia. Rejoice devoted preacher of the Lord's teaching of love by thy deeds. Rejoice the protector of Targamosians who never serve anyone except the Lord. Rejoice St. George. Uh, of Iberia, Alaverdi, Ilori, Atzuri, Alchevsky, Atotsi, Bodbe, Betlemi, Gudani, Gorijvari, Egypt, Zografi, Tvaltaisi, Jerusalem, Cappadocia, Lomisi, Pravadzali, Odishi, Sujuni, Sadgeri, Uspenski, Kurumhi, Kwasheti, Kwasheti, Chachmati, Zalenjiha, and Lasharis, Jvari. Uh, rejoice thou the magnificent uh, chariot of the sun, rejoice the dweller of heavens. 
we do worship thou Saint George, who didst lay down thy life for Christ, defeating and reproving those, reigning unlawfully in the vineyard of the Lord. We, the natives, the dwellers of this vineyard, by thy intercession, obediently pray to save us from temptations and our sins, crying unto thee with God's face. Rejoice, great martyr of Christ, Saint George, the knight in the tiger skin, who does destroy the cunning. O great martyr Saint George, the dweller of heavenly army, with the martyrs for Christ, the great passion bearer, the defender of holy trinity, terrorizing ungodly for the glory of Christ, by shedding thy blood, glorifying the true faith, the patient bearer for Christ, the stronghold of Christianity, the beauty of the host of martyrs, the intercessor of martyrs for Christ, a decoration of Georgian church. O Saint George, deliver our prayer to God, asking him to radiate and protect our orthodox nation. Fill us with grace, love and have mercy mercy on us for the glory of Georgia. O great martyr, said George, prayer for us to Christ, for filling us up with unshaken strength of striving for justice and true faith, that none of the enemies would ever be able to defeat the heavenly nation that should be obedient to nobody but God the Almighty, and this nation be radiant by the firstborn clothes of heavenly wisdom. Amen. The text of the Ecclesiast was reading Nanak Achiani, Tbilisi 2012, uh, the 16th of February, Georgia.